Alfred Hitchcock is the world's most famous director. Just think of the shock value, killing off your leading lady halfway through. I mean, you are intrigued, are you not, my dear? But when he chooses the controversial Psycho as his next movie, no one will support it. Actually, I think it's a huge mistake. Risking everything, he and his wife Alma fight to get it made in Hitchcock. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Brenna Smith. I'm Liz. I'm Salim. And we're here to talk about Hitchcock. And we've all just seen it. Well, Hitchcock obviously is about Alfred Hitchcock and his wife Alma and their really unique relationship and the trials and tribulations he had to go through in order to get Psycho made. And you don't really have to be a fan of Hitchcock to like this movie. I don't really know that much about him and his, his life, but I think that's why this movie stands so well on its own, is it's about the time period and getting as deep into who Hitchcock is. And it's about the making of Psycho. You know, he had to go through a lot to try to get this made. You know, he had just come off of North by Northwest. The studios wanted him to make another movie like that. And he's like, no, I want to go back to when I felt movies, when I felt, you know, the passion for them. So Hitchcock is the story of Hitchcock, but it's made from the perspective of someone who doesn't want to tarnish Hitchcock's reputation. And there are a lot of really interesting elements that we could have explored a little bit further, like the fact that he's um, a dramatic overeater and that he's obsessed with the actresses that he directs. And there's lots of little uh, depths to plunge, but uh, the film never really goes fully into those. Yeah, but I feel that those were done as a way to humanize him. Because mm -hmm. usually we hear Hitchcock and he's this, this master, he's this great master, but I feel that these things about like watching his calories really helps to bring him down to a more relatable level, but still give him the respect of Alfred Hitchcock. What I love about this movie is Hitchcock challenges himself. You know, that, I feel like that's one of the driving forces of this movie. He doesn't want to be, become stale. He wants to be excited about what he's making. And we contrast that with someone like, let's say, Steven Spielberg, who I feel like he's lost a lot of his mojo because he doesn't challenge himself. You know, he, he wants to go for a movie that he knows he can do, or oftentimes just a studio picture. And a lot of times it just it, it doesn't have the same resonance as his previous film touch. Well, Sasha Gervaisi came from the world of documentary, so I found myself examining the performances at a very, um, with a very discerning eye, wondering, well, you know, is there a guiding hand in terms of a consistency of performances? Mm -hmm. And I think there were a few real standout performances, and one, of course, Helen Mirren, because she's mm -hmm. amazing, um, and Anthony Hopkins, but Scarlett Johansson. I absolutely adored her in this. She was great, and she was adorable, and she did a great job as Janet Lee. How are you going to shoot this shower scene? It's only that, well, from here up, I'm not exactly boyish actually looks a lot like yeah. Janet Lee, which I wasn't expecting. And then she had the great little cocking mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. head to the side that Janet Lee used to do. And yeah. We touched on Helen Mirren a little bit, but she was phenomenal. She, I feel like she kind of held the movie together in terms of her, her storyline and, and her character. She's this take no guff, um, you know, alpha female, and she's really great. I'm under extraordinary pressures on this picture, and the least you could do is give me your full support. Full support? We've mortgaged our house! She's got the most, I think, depth out of all the characters because she has to go through all of this, mm -hmm. all of this trauma. She's got her deal with, with uh, her husband and then her friend and then um, her, her own work and then being second fiddle and then being married to Alfred Hitchcock. <laughs> and it's amazing to see her performance as she goes through this and still come out at the end getting credit, taking control when she needs to take control, and, and still being there for her husband. It really was there, the relationship between Alma and Alfred was really interesting, and I didn't know whether they were yeah. gonna mm -hmm. come back together at the end or not. Going back to Anthony Hopkins, I I was so surprised that I never once was thinking, oh, this is just Anthony Hopkins playing Alfred Hitchcock, which I feel a lot of the times when I see someone like Tom Hanks, for example. It's hard for me to disassociate Tom Hanks from the character he's playing. This time, not at all. Mm -hmm. As soon as I saw him on screen, I was like, oh, okay, this is probably what Hitchcock was really like. I mean, I have no idea, but it, it just was done so well. I used to watch a lot of Alfred Hitchcock Presents, and every move that Anthony Hopkins made mm -hmm. was just, it screamed Hitchcock, and it was, it was really impressive. His mannerisms, his speech patterns, the way he moved his lips when he spoke, it mm -hmm. was his posture with that big belly. <laughs> it, was, it was great. It was amazing. So Anthony Hopkins really did a standout job on this one. Mm -hmm. let's, let's talk a little bit about one of the supporting uh, actors, Richard Portnow. We actually had the opportunity to interview him um, about the movie, and he was fantastic. 
Richard Porta played Barney Balaban, and Barney Balaban is the president of Paramount at the time when Psycho was made, mm -hmm. and uh, he's basically the antagonist in the film. He's always um, putting pressure on Hitchcock. All right, so uh, along with the great directing is just a great production crew. The I mean, production design was great. We had Judy Becker, who worked on um, Brokeback Mountain, and she did a fabulous job. And then with the costuming, we had Julie Weiss from American Beauty. So the costumes were great, um, very period. Really brought us immediately mm -hmm. into the time period. And then finally, you had Jeff Cronenworth from Fight Club and Social Network behind the cinematography and had added this sort of gloss, which is very reminiscent of the period. And all of that just worked together to make this beautiful, uh, very realistic period piece. Though I did feel like the film was lacking in energy, it was really bizarre, and the performances were amazing. So I'm going to say, see it. I think this movie is a wonderful portrayal of Alfred Hitchcock and his relationship with Alma and his journey to get Psycho made. Definite, definite, see it. The fantastic writing and production and performances all combined to make a very enjoyable film. See it. Yay! Cheers! Cheers! Yes. <laughs> You've got nudity in there. Well, her breasts were rather large. It was a challenge not to show them. Today we're going to be reviewing, uh, who did this movie?